a long, long time. Here is his season. Well, you look at the scene at the Rose Bowl with Coach Donahue on the right in his 16th campaign, the second winningest coach as far as number of Pac-10 victories, and certainly has come back after two losing campaigns. His star quarterback is Tommy Maddox out of Texas. 6-4 is among the Pac-10 leaders in passing efficiency and total yardage. Outstanding wide receiver, Sean LaChapelle, 6'4", over 200 pounds, leads the Pac-10 in receptions and is second in receiving yardage. They've got a great running back when he is healthy and ready to go. Kevin Williams, a former Pac-10 sprint champion, and look at the size of this guy. He's just huge, tough to bring down, and as I mentioned, has great, great speed. Well, defensively, they've always had good secondary personnel. Carlton Gray comes into the contest with a Pac-10 leading seven interceptions. He picked up two in this one. And Matt Darby is their Jim Thorpe a candidate as uh, the most outstanding defensive back in all of college football. For the Ducks, Muhammad Oliver, coming off an outstanding effort against Arizona State, was named the Pac-10 uh, special teams player of the week for his performance against the Sun Devils and making his second start of the season Brett Salisbury has been injured much of the year and had not played since way back against California and when we come back we'll have the first quarter highlights as the Ducks go to the Rose Bowl to take on the Bruins.